Mini Minerva, providing enrichment and encouraging inquiry in a rapidly changing world. Hi everyone, I'm Ansley. I work in politics in Scotland. Ansley Clark is a political events organiser. She works with the government to help them inform people like us of what their plans are to help. She also helps the different political groups in government work together and gives them an opportunity to get to know each other. She organises important events for the politicians to attend and gets to work with important leaders like Nicola Sturgeon, the First Minister of Scotland. Ansley is interested in political activism and also volunteers for a youth group. What does your job involve? So the organisation that I work for is a, a magazine and events company and what we do is we put out a magazine that everyone who works in politics across Scotland reads and that helps them in their decision making and um, also it's a bit of fun so all the fun side of politics is in there too and then we also run events that anyone who works in politics across Scotland who wants to enhance their knowledge on a subject or they want to get a message across to the politicians uh, they can uh, come to one of our events or run an event with the organisation that I work for. What does politics mean? Again. So basically politics is uh, the people who are in charge or the processes that that allow people to make decisions for like a country or an area. So uh, for example I work in Scottish politics so we have the Scottish Parliament and they basically make all the decisions that affect um, the people who are living in Scotland. Um, within politics, there's different political parties who believe different things. So um, in Scotland, the party that are in charge are the uh, SNP. Um, and then we also have, there's also Labour, which you also have in Westminster, and there's also the Conservatives, which you also have in Westminster. They're kind of, in Scotland, like the, the three main parties um, in Westminster in the UK where they make decisions that would affect you, um, Labour and Conservative are the main parties. And everyone, the same way even in your classroom, everyone has different ways of the best way of doing it, doing anything or making a decision. Um, and everyone might bring their opinions to the table and they might discuss them. And once you've heard everyone's opinions, then they can make the decision. So that's the same thing that happens in politics. In Parliament, they will... Um, bring a topic to discussion and then all the different political parties will say their opinion, how they think best to resolve an issue um, and then the government will listen to everyone's opinions and then make, they make a decision that they think is best for the people. And the important thing about politics is um, when you are old enough you get to vote for the people who will be in power. Um, in your in the government so for example in may i'll get to vote for um the party who people who should represent me in the scottish parliament so um the point of politics is that it should represent the people's voice and should get good things done good things done the best things done for the people uh, i guess everyone will be seeing that all the time right now with COVID and um, how the government are approaching things like the back rollout of the vaccination and um, when we were the tier system and um, that's all part of politics and um, because basically the people in charge are trying to do the best for the people although you might not always agree with the people in charge. <laughs> what key skills do you need to do your job? So my job uh, relies on having, at a basic level, a good understanding of Scottish politics. Uh, the company I work for, I should also say, has got a uh, UK, there's, so I'm, the company I work for is called Holyrood. And uh, so you need to have a good understanding of politics. But like I said, that really comes on the job because you're uh, totally immersed in the world of politics. So an interest in politics in which I think often starts with an interest in making change and the world better for other people so if you're someone that's, that really likes that that wants to 
to see their community or your world that can be on a uh, local it can be on your street or that can be like all over the world if you want to uh, make a difference uh, that's something that I think is really important for someone who works in politics because that's the point of the whole thing uh, you need to have in my particular role you need to have really good organization skills because I organize a range of events um, so uh, that can be events for up to 300 people, award ceremonies, um, it can be really fun, organising fun things like photo booths and performers or it can also be um, organising really intricate detailed things like um, writing briefings for a speaker at a, um, a really detailed policy event. So, uh, you need to have good organisation skills, you need to have good communication skills because I speak to so many different people every day they can be really high profile people so that can be uh, more nerve-wracking but you just need to stay confident and be clear so if you've got good communication skills you can speak to anyone in the office where I work I think you need to have a good sense of humour and be fun and um, just because um, like I said about the magazine we do fun things about Scottish politics as well rather than all the the heavy stuff all the time what is the most exciting thing you have to do in your job? Part of my job, as I said, was um, I work for, uh, on the magazine for my company and I also work for the events side of the company. And um, when I was talking about politics and political parties, every political party will host a big event every year that's called their party conference. Um, and at the party conference they talk about the year ahead for the party, what they want to achieve um, and also it's an opportunity for people from companies like mine to go and to engage with the party or the government. So um, I, was working, yeah, I was working at the SNP, who are the party in power in Scotland. Um, I was working at their party conference and I organised a stand where um, I was giving out copies of our magazine. Um, like I said, the way I work, we also try to do the fun side of politics. So we organised for um, there to be like, you know, the thing at like a fairground where there's like a face in the hole. So I organised for there to be like a face in the hole beside Nicola Sturgeon, who is the First Minister of Scotland. Um, and she actually came along and put her, and I got to meet her, and she put her face in the hole when the thing that I'd organised and got a picture of herself um, with, with herself. And it was really funny. What is the most rewarding part of your job? At that conference, for example, I organised drinks receptions where politicians would come and they'd get to talk to people who um, are their party members, but also people who work in organisations that influence politics. They can hold them, hold hold the people in politics to account. They can tell them, oh, do you know, I represent this healthcare organisation and, you know, we're really missing this in, in like, government government conversations and that's a big part of politics and that's what I kind of help to organise so it's it's always it's really good to get important people in a room with um to represent people is probably what I mean there so to get important people like the politicians and the decision makers in the room with um organisations who they kind of need their voice heard so like I said like a healthcare organisation this year it was obviously virtual but we did it with um, like the care sector so people who were so who have been so affected by Covid um, got to put them in front of you know the health secretary and say that's the person who's in charge of health and they could talk about all the challenges they faced in Covid and what they need going forward and yeah it's a really good opportunity you can really help to make change which comes back to my first answer. Why do we need better representation in politics? So it's really important that we have better representation in area like politics because why on earth should men make decisions about women? I um, I think that's the most obvious one to me um, that only everyone 
has an experience of how they navigate the world and how they live. And uh, there are certain things that definitely impact women a lot more than men. Um, so they should, women should be in the room. They should be having the conversations. They should be giving their lived experience and um, getting better representation. Um, I think representation is something that's really important and that's something that the Scottish Parliament in particular really needs to work on. Um, they've uh, only, I think they've only ever had like two BAME MSPs ever, so two BME um, representatives ever, which is not enough. There's ho oh, They're hoping that they'll be the first trans representative as of the next election, but who knows? Who is someone to you that is a bright mind? So there's loads, I have loads of answers for this, but, but I think I would choose, uh, I'm going to choose, I was originally going to choose AOC, who if you don't know you can Google. So someone who I think is a bright mind is Gina Martin and she is involved in politics in a different way to how I'm involved in politics, but I think a really important part of the political machine is, um, activism and she's a political activist so Gina Martin basically um, changed the law to make um, basically it safer for women to be outside in the streets and how they navigate the world um, and she basically saw something, saw something that she thought was wrong and it changed it and I think that is something that we should all try to do and I'm really impressed with that and it shows that anyone, like even even you guys, like right here, right now, if you see something and you don't, if you don't like it, and you don't like how it works, you can have a voice. Like think about, for example, politics. Think about the climate emergency. Think about the school strikes. Think about Greta Greta Thunberg. That's that is that's politics because they see something that they don't agree with and they think they can make a change on and they went out and they were involved in protests. They speak to lawmakers, they speak to people in parliament. And yeah, I think that's a really good example. So everyone can make a change. What is in your bright future? So I think the next step for me would be to, I'd like to work for a charity who are involved in government. Um, so they, um, in particular, I would like to work, I'd really like to work for an LGBT charity um, because so many charities, they're trying to make change and to do that quite often they have to interact with the government and I would like to work for a charity that um, wants to make things better for LGBT people. How could I get involved as a young person? How you experience every day it should feed into how the conversations about the things that impact you. So that's like, for example, there is the Scottish Youth Parliament where young people can be involved in conversations about politics. Uh, so if you are interested in making a change um, and getting involved in politics, things you can do is you could, well, you could organise amongst yourselves so if there's an issue that you feel passionate about. If you think, um, for example, that your school needs to be better at recycling, although I'm sure your school is amazing at recycling, um, <laughs> you could organise it amongst yourselves to um, make a change on at your level. Like I said before, your MP is supposed to represent your area, so you could write to your MP and it, you can also get in touch with if there's a particular area that you're interested in, like the environment, or if you're interested in, can I think of examples? Active travel, like there's there's charities for everything, and these charities are trying to engage in politics and make change for their area. So if there is a particular, um, like a mental health charity, if you want to have access to better mental health resources um, or share them with other people, you can reach out to the charity. Um, 
or there's lots of organizations and I would say reach out to them have a conversation and they'll help you and they will um, provide you support or they will give you the resources to share the word and make change at the heart of wanting to work in politics you should believe that you can make positive change we are so grateful to Ansley for talking to us think that you could work in politics perhaps you could be a political activist like Greta Thunberg Perhaps you are our future Prime Minister. Check out the Bright Ideas projects that you could try yourself. <laughs> Do you need more information than that? Sorry. Because the more you're immersed in it, the more you learn about it, and that's something that's... <laughs> 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 Politics. <laughs> I'm actually going to Google what comes up when you Google politics. For example, you could write to them to say, Mrs. Rushton's amazing.